What's happening everybody? Today we're going to be putting some leaf springs or a leaf on the rusty ram because I've got a broken leaf. I've got some other leaves there so we're going to measure them up and just kind of slip one in there. So last year if you watched any of uh, the rusty ram video you'll see that uh, one of the leaves had broken out. It like snapped in half and slid out and almost cut the tire in half. So we're going to fix that today. So uh, yeah, let's do it. So as you can see, it's been kind of sort of fixed, uh, just enough to get me home. I think that's the break in there, the rusty spot right there. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it was at. Um, it's it's in there somewhere. Yeah, you can see the break, the break in it there a lot better. You see how it's it's busted out. My zip ties are just hanging on for dear life, but that's all that I had at the time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to fix that thing today. Well, dang, I don't remember having that on there. Hmm, I don't think I have the lock deal for this thing. Well, damn it. Nope. Nope. Eh, maybe. Wickle, 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 wickle. Choop, choop. I haven't really drove this thing since I got it. What is this? Game hoist rope and hook. Oh no. There's some other stuff in here. A harmonica. Blues band. I've never been under here. What's this thing? Oh, cup holder, sweet. Caution. Interesting. Ram logo. Hoil spacers. Rope. Well, this sucks. Uh, so yeah, the uh, in case you haven't seen any of the previous Rusty Ram stuff. The owner, previous owner of this vehicle, I'll probably need this, passed away. So, unexpectedly, and uh, so I don't have any information, or this is just kind of all it, whatever. Oh, I, I do need that. Oh, there's a P for the Jeep. Cool. I also got the Jeep from the same family I guess all right this is a 17 millimeter 18 millimeter so we're gonna fit it on there the best that we can maybe this will work maybe it won't I don't think I got enough bite on it but we'll see there we go done deal all right since I've never had the back um, tires off of this truck before let's take a look this looks like it's broken to me but I don't know it looks awfully strange um, this is the condition of the rusty ram so you know this is kind of why I'm not super anxious to throw a bunch of money into this truck Cause it's just you know it's it's rough you know she's she needs a lot of help so I like the truck if I could find a second gen somewhere else um, I would do it this has some cool parts like I could sandblast these factory blocks up and you know different things but uh, yeah I'm not gonna probably invest a ton into this particular truck just drive it you can see it it's not in great shape those corner doors don't open or side doors or whatever you want to call it those things are rusted totally into the thing you can see right here i bet i can poke a hole right through it you can see sort of yep right on in there i mean it's bad there are let's see do you see those black shapes next to the pure later thing and those things right there, 
actually those are the quarter the corners cab corners and the rockers for this truck so they came with it they were in the back i mean but look at the door i got doors out there i mean i'd need a bed i would need inner you know everything just it needs everything There we go. That was the problem before. So it had slipped out like this. Yeah. So it broke and it slid right out. And this thing back here was catching it. The tire is like this close to it, so not a very good thing. I have to cut this off, drop this leaf pack out, then we'll pick one from the pile of leaves and uh, try to replace this one. All right. Yeah, we're in good shape. Still had a little bit of life left in that top spring, so let's figure out what to do next. These, uh, I think uh, some of these are F2, uh, F-150 springs. Yeah, that one might work. There we go, there's one. Look how corroded it is. Oh, check this out. That's pretty cool. It's got a Pentastar stamped into the uh, purchase. A little Chrysler Pentastar. That's pretty neat. Do the same thing to the other side. Bend it out. Hmm. Yeah, little uh, pads are worn right off. All right, so this is my plan. So each the pack had four leaves in it, plus the overload on the bottom, right? So uh, there's the there's two, there's three. Here's the broken one down here. I've kind of lined them up. I have this one, which is roughly um, the same thickness and roughly the right size. It's not quite the same size, but uh, we're pretty close. It's close enough. Now I don't have that fine uh, fine thread bolt, so I'm gonna use a grade eight with a uh, nylock nut on top and some Loctite. So that should make up for the thread pitch issues. Hopefully it's the same basic diameter. So that should work. So everything should be good. I'm um, just going to go ahead and kind of reassemble these things. I don't have any more of the little sliding pads. I don't know what that... Oh, my creeper fell over. I don't have any more of the sliding pads. These are metal, actually. But uh, they're supposed to be 
I think some plastic ones on the ends. Anyway, we're not going to bother with any of that. We're just going to slam it back together the way that it is and hope for the best. I mean, it's good enough, right? I might have to turn this thing down or grind these edges. Yeah, because it won't fit inside of the block. So, have to take off these little edges right quick. All right, ground the edges off. No, now it's just a round circle like it was. Perfect. Fits in there, no problem. All right, so here's my plan. Big C clamp, some zip ties. Our old friend zip tie. I might need some bigger, beefier ones. I'm gonna try this first and see if we can keep it together. It's this one, the one spring that we've got that has the that severe arch, the new one we're putting in, that one's the one that's causing the problems. It's got such a steep arch on it that it's uh, being difficult to collapse the pack. Camera kind of shut off. Um, all I did was tape that nut to the bottom so it stopped falling off. Just sh jammed it up in there. So hopefully that thing has fallen into its little recess spot. I don't think it did though. There we go. All right, I've got to still take the <clears throat> zip ties out, but I think overall, pretty much got it. Take this off. in there. Let's try to massage this into place. There you go. I think we're close. It's probably how I'm going to break it. All right. One, two, all right, got this plate. Stop looking at my nuts. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that's good. We're good. Look at all the look at it. It's freaking amazing. This thing is crusty so much. I don't even know. Uh, it looks like it's not quite seated in there. Let me smack it with a hammer a couple more times, see if I can pop it in there. Actually, that worked. Whacked it a couple times up in there, dropped right down. So I will hit these U-bolts uh, with the impact and throw the tire on it, and then we'll see how it sits once I uh, do that. Let's see what happens when I sit it down. Let's see what it looks like. Looks level to me. Yeah, looks good. So let's pull it on out. Oh no. Why are my brakes going to the floor? Why are my brakes on the floor? Ah, oh, son of a... Why do I have no brakes? Oh no! Frickin' A! Ugh! Mother... Ugh! Ugh! Damn! I knew it! I was looking at that brake line, I was like, you know what, that thing looks sketchy. That's super rusty. Oh man, dude, that's such a bummer. Hopefully we can stop. Ugh. 
Oh, that blows. Yeah, front brakes still work good. Oh man, that makes me so mad. What did I expect though? Seriously, what did I expect? Let's see how it looks. Not bad. Uh, seems like it's sitting more kind of normal-ish. I don't know. Looks a little bit more muscly, I guess. So maybe it was sagging in the back a little bit. Surprisingly, the bed and everything, all of the body lines seem straight on it. Considering how rusty it all is and all how nasty the frame is, I'm surprised it's not weak in the middle, but it seems to work. I mean, it's a cool looking truck. God, holy cow. Oh man. Look at this nightmare. You have to wide angle to take it all in. All of this from just taking the springs off. This blows. I've been avoiding that job since last year. I think that's I think that's when I, I originally saw that. I've been just dreading doing that. And for good reason. For good reason. It sucked. Uh, it took a long time. There's a lot that I didn't film, but you know what? Fix the brake line. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. It's probably just a line. And I'll just, um, here, I'll show you uh, if I can. All of the brake lines on this thing were bad. Yeah, here's a good example. So there's one of my patches that I spliced into there. And there's another one on the other side because the fronts blew out. Yeah, <laughs> my zip ties and stuff. So like all of the brakes on this thing are shot. And let's look. Yep. Damn, maybe I can pinch off the line. Ugh, it's gonna leak all the fluid out. Dang, um, whatever, screw it. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out in the half-ass garage with me. Like and comment and subscribe to the channel. I can't even believe how many people watch and they're not subscribed. So just subscribe to the channel. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out a ton. And uh, as soon as we can get uh, more subs, we can get brake lines for the Ram. Look at that thing. Come on now.